I'm gonna get up there. Oh my gosh. That is intense, dude. And there's a sick ass Jeep here. Dude, he's flying. No. Dude, I, he's going over 80. He's going about 85. Alright, whenever, whenever I pass him, go to the rear view. This is so oh my gosh. I'm not gonna say what it is. Just do Dude, it. We're gonna post your just do channel. it. It's gonna be like the ending of the video. Just do it. No. Please. No. Wayne Isle. Look it up over here. <laughs> Go get pregnant. From the video. What you were looking up. Yeah, well, that's why you need glasses, man. No, that's why you need glasses. That's a cool truck, though. Oh, turbo spool. This angle is you can see everything right. You now. can see all the way to the back seat window, about halfway, all the way to like here, all the way to like past the rear view mirror. Isn't it cool? Very wide, dude. All your videos are gonna have multiple uh, fields of vision. Just gotta love the comments, man. Comment six seven straight up. Probably gonna do a brake pedal to leave because I have the Jake brake. Yeah, that's all you need. <laughs> it's literally a full view of the entire inside of the truck. Unnecessary. You can you can see the back seat. I believe it. Dude, well, if you put a turbo in your truck, it would fix all the issues. I don't think so. Why not? It's just automatically transmission works again. <laughs> Steering is fixed. Turbo answers all. Twin turfskis. So thanks, Mike, for the new gift. He gave me a full engine. It's a birthday gift. All right, I'm just gonna run this over to the garage. There's the silve. It's a rainy day outside, but figured I'd find a place for this somewhere. Oh, probably up on the wall, over with all the other cool stuff. There we go. Let's sit in there. There we go. So we got a nice power stroke. Nice power stroke picture with all the other American stuff. We got the Chevy emblem, another Chevy emblem. I know there's a Ram one right there. We got a Porsche car. It's looking pretty cool in here. Just gotta run in and get some cash. Gotta pay Mike back for that shirt. Alright guys, so new day here today and I may be prolonging the well the fixture of the Silverado and that is because I may be ordering even more parts, but I'm gonna see if we can fast ship those because obviously I'm I'm getting kinda tired of waiting here, but I'm trying to make that truck look well, you're not going to recognize it at all. That's that's the main goal. And I said that before, I want to make sure that you cannot even recognize this truck at all once you see this. It's going to be so crazy and insane. I am not just, I'm not clickbaiting. I'm not making all this up. I'm not going to make this in the title or anything. I'm just saying that it's going to be completely different. I'm doing this for myself. I'm doing it for you guys as well. But I I just want to make this truck look so amazing, so eye-catching, so, so different than the trucks that you're going to see on the road. So honestly, that diesel truck that I saw on the road today that GMC with the chrome rims hauling that lime green Jeep honestly was just amazing just you don't see that kind of, this kind of trucks around here it's just the weather is always terrible and the roads are always bad people don't build or buy well very nice rims and, and build their trucks up like that around here so but I'm going to oh yes nice day out today nice and foggy just a great day to go for a very long walk we are on the road now just going to make a stop two stops first to buy your supply of some things and then we'll be getting something for the diesel so stay tuned for that we'll bring you guys into each and every one of these stores it's going to be awesome it's actually been a while since I used this camera I've been using the GoPro for a while and I don't know I, I do like this camera I can actually see myself on the camera I can see what I'm filming and quality is just insane. Just made it here to Grocery Outlet. Gonna try to see if they have the pro. Alright, let's see what we got here. So I know this is really good pre-workout, but I don't use pre-workout at all. I don't need that. And I don't need to... Like they don't 
don't have them. Check it out, guys. We just got eight of those right there. I'm gonna get more energy drinks, so I'm just gonna try to buy up the whole store. <laughs> so stay awake, alertness, caffeine capsules. Should I take a full box of this for the video? 200 milligrams per, per one, I'm assuming. That's crazy. Guys, so I'm out here with the, uh, the freaking toothpaste, about to buy a whole bunch of this. And I know it lasts a long time, but still, I just can never have enough of this stuff. You know, it tastes so good. And one more, just to be safe. Seriously, Rick? Wow. Here we go, I'm actually gonna buy the rest. Tea, so I'm definitely going to need some of this. Oh, yeah. I have to crush everything now. Going to get one more. There we go. Alright, guys. So, for the big hikes this year and everything, I'm going to have to stock up on this stuff. So, there we go. Alright. Best of my life. Or something. <laughs> That doesn't sound good. Is it rolling? Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah, we just got everything here. Probably gonna be good for a year, a couple years. That's why I brought you guys along because you know, I figured I'm not gonna be doing this for a very long time now. Yeah, when I buy stuff, I try to buy for a couple years, especially if I get a good deal. Yeah. All right, guys, check it out. We are. I'm, uh, I have the manual stick shift right here. If you can see that, driving the Ford, it's very difficult, but we are making it here. I made it in the first somehow, and I wanted to show you guys this over there. If you can see it, um, that Silverado. Look at those headlights. Should I get those? I was wondering if you guys like that design. Not sure. It does look cool in that truck, but because of how stock it is, I think they could have little, went a little bit farther with it, but that's just my opinion. So there's the GameStop I'd go to all the time, and now they have another game store right next to it, which kind of does make sense. Got it. All right. Check it out, Quaker Steak and Lube. Haven't been there in a long time, but they have really good wings there. It's all automotive themed. They have a lot of classic stuff there. It's a pretty cool place. And then you can get your you can get your service done here at CJ's. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Back to first. Let's see if I can do this. No one's coming. Perfect timing. Oh, come on! There we go. There's the Lowe's where we tried to get the got try to get those parts for the EGR delete, but it really didn't work out too well. Let's go. Alright, I still haven't been to these stores yet. Probably not for a long time. I don't even know what that is. Steinmark? Come on, is that for Albert Einstein only? Try to zoom into it somehow. Nice red truck back there, but it's, unfortunately it's gas. It's still cool though. Here we go, race car driver type of deal. <laughs> oh yeah, we got it. Let's go. Dollies, gonna check out the automotive section, maybe pick up something cool for the trucks. I have before, they used to sell these giant five, six inch exhaust tips for about 10 to 12 bucks. I should have bought the whole stock and then resold them or something, or just kept them look cool. But yeah, I should have never sold mine because I thought they'd always have more. And then I realized, you know, that's not the case. Now I'm, I'm exhaust tipless. Because I also found that Flowmaster exhaust tip on the ground, that black one. But then I lost that as well. I found it, lost it, and now I'm, I have no exhaust tips at all. So that's it over there. Monroe muffler. I originally went there because I was going to put this big piping on my Silverado. Whenever I had, that was my only truck. It was a long time ago and they 